have a look at this question. Input is 3800. This is raw material input. Output 3000 units. Closing is how much? 800. See, degree of completion is given. Right? Yeah. 80, 70, 70. Okay. Then process cost is given. Find out equivalent production, assuming that there is no opening WIP. Okay, fine. So this is the first thing on process loss. Okay, there is no opening WIP and there is no process loss. Also. Fine, okay. So this basic sum I am starting up with. Very basic sum. Okay. Since it's the first sum to what basic value is, there's no opening WIP. So next lecture when I start, I'll take a sum where opening WIP is also there. Okay. So as I told you, always uh, first, you know, prefer making more diagrammatic presentation of that. So we'll start with that. So that is clear to us. Okay, we we'll start. Right on here. Raw material. Input. Three thousand eight hundred. Usme se divide karo. WIP कितना है? 800 and output that is expected output that is your finished goods कितना? 300 degree of completion writing here degree of completion 80, 70, 70. You can even just write the percentage. Huh? 80, 70, 70. Okay. So you know na? by default this has to be what? 100, 100, 100. 100, 100, 100. Okay. No other variation is there. So let us start with step one. Statement showing equivalent production. Okay, statement showing equivalent production. You remember now quantity multiplied with rate. This is the logic we are using, will give us the amount, right? Quantity ko we call the first step, that is equivalent production. Rate ko we call step two, that is cost price uh, or cost per unit. And amount ko we call step three, that is finding out the value. Okay? Yes. Can you recollect this point? Yeah, last lecture also I had told about this. Just acknowledge it in the chat box. Samaj me aya? Step one, EP, that is quantity. Step two, cost price, that is cost price per unit. And third is value. And how do you get value? Quantity multiplied with the rate. Start first input. The statement yeah. input then particulars then output then your bifurcation first material and the degree of completion and then quantity then labor degree of completion and then quantity same way for overheads, degree of completion. Yeah. 
start with input. So input may I have 3,800 right here. Then I have my finished goods. And then I have my closing capital. Okay. Finished goods kit my mirror, 3,000. Closing WIP, 800. Degree of completion. Assume this to be 100, 100, 100. And this is 80, 70, 70. Okay. And now calculate. 3000 ka 100 percent is 3000. 3000 and 3000. Closing. 800 ka 80 percent is 640. 800 ka 70 percent. 8 cents of 56. You can write it like that. 560, 560. Okay. Then equated. What the basic sum is, my normal loss be nahi hai. Three thousand I told you na, this has to be equal. If it is not equal, means you have done some error. Yeah. Baki bhi kar do equate. I mean, calculate. Three six four zero three five six zero three five six zero. Is it clear till here? Just acknowledge it in the chat box. Step one is done by everyone. Coming on to step two. Step two is what? Statement showing cost per unit. of EP. Okay. What are you going to consider here? First, I'm going to consider my cost. Okay, this cost I will divide with the EP. That is the quantity. And that's how I'm going to get my CPU. That is the rate. Terminologies are in kgs or units. Okay, units. Is yes. So, right on. Material. Labor. And units. So, cost is given. 7280. Next. 10,680. Next, 
Divided with EP, equivalent production, we just got the answer. 3,800, sorry, not this one. This one. 3640, 3, uh, 3560, and this, 3560. Okay, from step one, what answer you got, that you have to write. 3640, 3560, 3560. Okay, now let us divide and see. 7280 divided by 3640. Two rupees. So the answer is two rupees. Next, 10680 divided by 3560. Three rupees. Next, 7120 divided by 3560. Again, 2 rupees. Okay, total this. Total cost price. Mil individual cost price. You have to get individual material ka 2 rupees, labor ka 3, and uh, overheads 2. And you will get the total cost price also. That will be how much? 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. Okay. Is it clear till you are? Acknowledge it in the chat box. Step 2 is clear. Okay. Next, step three. Statement showing value of output okay in that first you will calculate finished goods material Labor or weeds. Okay. So it will be quantity multiplied with the rate. So quantity multiplied with rate, that is cost per unit. Yeah. Cost per unit. And this quantity is nothing but EP. Okay. Yeah. So you can write quantity or you can write this and whatever you get is value or you can write amount. Take care. So my quantity is how much? Go to step one. Step one may you will get this. Here. 
थ्री थाउजेंड का बाइफरकेशन क्या है थ्री थाउजेंड थ्री थाउजेंड एंड थ्री थाउजेंड ओके एंड डब्ल्यू आई पी का बाइफरकेशन इज सिक्स फोर्टी फाइव सिक्सटी एंड फाइव सिक्सटी तो दैट इज द बाइफरकेटेड क्वान्टिटी ओके It is two three two. Three two is two. Total it. Six plus nine is fifteen. Fifteen plus six is twenty-one. So twenty-one thousand. Next. Closing WIP or even WIP you write it as well. Material. Okay. Oh, make a habit of writing closing WIP because next lecture when I take opening WIP, yeah, so the bifurcations are much better. So how much was this? And yeah, six forty, five sixty, five sixty. Two, three, two. Sorry. Two. Uh, you want you can write again. You know the quantity. You can write it like this also. So we go. Yeah. Let's say this. Six forty into two, one two eight zero. Five sixty into three, one six eight zero. Five sixty into two, one one two zero. And then total. One one two zero plus one six eight zero plus one two eight zero four zero eight zero. Is it clear till here? Just acknowledge it in the chat box. Okay, so one, two, three steps done. Last me, you have to make a process account. Okay, process account se pehle bhi aap apna answer cross tally kar sakte ho. Okay, before making a process account, process account bhi tally hona chahiye. I hope you know that. Last lectures when I uh, did uh, sums, uh, I mean just examples with you, there I showed you like right? it should tally. ओके तो उससे पहले भी यू कैन क्रॉस चेक विदाउट मेकिंग अ प्रोसेस अकाउंट बट एग्जाम में प्रोसेस अकाउंट विल डेफिनेटली कम सो दिस यू सॉ दिस टोटल ये दोनों ये दोनों को ऐड करके देखिए प्लस ट्वेंटी वन थाउजेंड वॉट इज माई आंसर ट्वेंटी फाइव जीरो एट जीरो आना चाहिए ठीक है चलो देखते हैं ये रहा कॉस्ट इसको टोटल करके देखो सेवन टू एट जीरो सेवन टू एट जीरो प्लस 
अगर नहीं होता है टैली तो पहले चेंजेस कर लेना चेक योर स्टेप स्टेप वन स्टेप टू एक बार चेक कर लेना जरूर उधर कोई एरर होगा ऑफ योर then you proceed last may once you are sure then you make a process account okay yeah because if you make a process account for then you come to know it it's not tallying then again you have to go back check everything will be done so it's better instead three only you double uh, check it confirm it ki wo same aa raha hai ki nahi theek hai okay And now make a process account. Neither even I did it. Then I want to do that. Okay. I just need a small process account that I have been writing in that. start with two raw material or you can even write two material or you can write two raw material input ek hi baat hai theek hai 2800 you can even write two material what was the value 7 to 8 so Labor ten thousand six eighty seven hundred zero. Okay, so debit all the expenses related to the process by finishers three thousand. And the value is step three. May you will get the value. It is twenty one thousand. Okay, twenty one thousand. Then closing WIP eight hundred. Value you will get from step three. Value put that four zero eight zero. Okay. We do now know it's it will tally, but ठीक है एक बार फिर भी चेक कर लो. Seven two eight zero plus ten six eighty plus seven nine two zero. So twenty five. Zero eight zero.
even the quantity column should tally obviously but in step 1 only we have seen so is there some clear to everyone just acknowledge it in the chat box